I don't know a whole lot about the history of dairy farms involving Jersey cattle, but I do know this. Redgate Farms has been owned by the same family since 1931, and it has evolved into a breathtaking event and recreation space. Look at this map, seriously. When we booked a campsite here, we had no idea just how much this property has to offer. It's got nature and animals and barns that are amazing reception halls, and the RV campground is a big, peaceful, open field. Look, there's us. That is where we glamped. Because of the wide open layout, this place offered us a perfect opportunity to practice backing into campsites, and we definitely took advantage of that. Oh, and did we mention that this delightful place, which feels like it's a hundred miles away from civilization, is like minutes away from downtown Savannah, Georgia, which may be the most charmingly eccentric party town on the entire planet, Look! Outhouse-inspired bathrooms, which are called Mr. John's John. I'm sure whoever Mr. John is, he's very honored by this. Hmm. I'm pretty sure these are the remains of the original Red Gate. The Red Gate that kept all those lovely Jersey cows contained in their grassy fields so that they could eat grass and produce delicious dairy products. We salute you, Jersey cows. All of you. Anyway, here's the office, which is basically a house, and inside there's a nice sitting area and a fitness room, and it's also got two residential style bathrooms, which are available to all the RVers staying on property. There's a very relaxed and welcoming feeling here. The folks who run the place make you feel like you're truly at home. It's a unique vibe, but that's not all about Redgate Farms that's unique. It's got lakes, and it's got ponds, and trees, and fields. It's got all sorts of pavilions, and gazebos, and event spaces. Wow, this place is just kind of ridiculously idyllic, right? Oh look, a clubhouse. Let's go inside and check this place out. Well, this is just incredibly charming. Oh look, it's Jason in a mirror, waving while photographing. I totally played that piano, by the way, and very loudly. This place is just filled with inviting spots to sit and relax. Or maybe, oh my gosh, is that a very small but adorable pier? Maybe do some fishing, or maybe just do some staring at the endless bodies of water all around this place. And you know, maybe there's no swimming allowed in the pond, but it sure looks like a great spot for sunset viewing. This place seriously has it all, nice landscaping, beautiful nature, lovely playgrounds. Obviously, we were here during a very quiet time for the resort, and there was absolutely no noise because there were absolutely no kids, and we were totally fine with that. Ooh, a pool. And like a really nice pool area too. I mean, this place is spotlessly clean. And look, we've got a beautiful deck area over here and wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. A gorgeous shaded pavilion over there. And look behind, look behind that pavilion. There's water everywhere on this property.
Hmm, what do we have here? Okay, I'm definitely getting intrigued. Oh, hang on, this looks like... Oh, this looks like maybe one of the most perfect places to hold a wedding reception that I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, dang. Hey Jason, let's renew our vows here and dance around in this place, right? Sound good? Okay, cool. And speaking of vows, what a romantic spot to get hitched. And speaking of dairy cows, Jersey to be specific, I think this may have been where the cows must have been living back when they were doing their dairy cow thing. Vegans turn away. It's nice to just stroll around this place and let it all soak in and just let everything surprise you. Like, wow, Patty, she has a shack. Anyway, one of our absolute favorite surprises on property was this. It's a place to interact with some animals. Specifically and primarily, it's a place to interact with some very authoritarian chickens. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, oh, hang on. I think there's like some real housewife stuff going on over here. I speak fluid chicken and I would normally translate, but our channel is rated a hard G and this conversation contains so many curse words. Oh wait, she's leaving? He won? Oh, come on, down with the patriarchy. This guy is like the mafia boss of chickens, the God Rooster. Oh look, charmingly rusted things. I have absolutely no idea what this stuff actually does or did, but I'm pretty sure it was very important and useful back when this was an active dairy farm. But for the present, they make for a very cool outdoor industrial art display. Where could this lovely lane be taking us? Oh my gosh, look at the beautiful horses. That's right, Redgate Farms offers horseback riding too. And next time we come here, we are definitely gonna do that. Oh my gosh, are those goats? Those are totally goats. Okay, wow, this place is seriously amazing. A perfect oasis just miles away from the heart of downtown Savannah, and there's goats and horses and chickens and gates and open fields and sunsets and lakes and pavilions and those repurposed barns that are so cool and those really cool lights that look like they're bare light bulbs, but they're actually like legit light fixtures. Also, by the way, this place has totally respectable cell service. Anyway, if you're planning on playing in Savannah, we suggest staying here. Leave a comment to say hi If you like us, please subscribe And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you